Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we are configuring a Waypoint mission for our DJI Mini 5 Pro. We're gonna do this using the RC Controller 2 and we're gonna do that in the comfort of my own home. One of the methods for creating a Waypoint flight plan is via the map. So you don't have to be on location, you can be anywhere in the world and you can configure a waypoint mission for a certain location. To do that, it's really simple. A couple of things you do need to do is you do need to be connected to Wi-Fi, whether tethered to your mobile phone or the Wi-Fi in the location that you're at. Once we do that, we can go and start by jumping onto connect to aircraft. Now at this point in time, we're gonna click on the current connect to aircraft. My Mini 5 Pro is not on. So again, it will give you this view. The reason we want this view is we want to go to camera view at the top. So the top right hand corner, we just click on camera view. This will take us to the aircraft not connected to RC screen. But the thing we really want is the map down the bottom. So we really wanna just go and grab our map. Keep scrolling through. There is the bridge that I want. And I'm gonna go and simply grab this. Excellent. So this is a bridge, the area I'm familiar with. It's a location that I film with quite frequently. However, this doesn't give me much of a plan for me anyway. So what I wanna do is I'm actually going changing the view. So I'm gonna click on the two diamonds down the bottom and this will give me mixed or satellite view as well as this standard view that we have now. So I'm gonna click on satellite. The reason being is I want to find a particular location here. So there is the park. There is the driveway, and there is, down here, there are two tables that are outside for barbecues, picnics, etc. This is where I sit when I'm filming drone footage. So I know the location. So again, if I zoom out a little bit, I know the area. I know that the bridge is down this way, and I'm going to go and configure a waypoint mission. Okay, so let's just zoom here so I'm closer to the location, and I know it. All right, to set up a waypoint mission, the first thing you need to do is go to this. The squiggly line looks like a sideways S with dots all over it and that arrow. Click on that and this will allow us to create a plan waypoint flight. So this is how you set up your waypoint mission. Now, because I'm using a remote control, not on location, not connected to the drone, I have to do this by sight. Go to your starting point and do it gently because when we get to the point to set up waypoint number one, I can tap on the screen and now it'll show me its height, etc. That 50 meters is showing its altitude, but I am gonna change that, but we will do that a little bit later. All right, let's zoom this out. Now, what I want to do is, for the second part of this, I want to go and set up a second waypoint. I'm gonna click on the area there. Waypoint number two, it is going in a straight line, its direction. Again, I will configure everything as we get to it. I'm gonna scroll that map up. Just let me speed this up by adding a couple of more waypoints quickly. With my waypoints, the next thing I need to do is configure its movement, location, altitude, all the things that I need to look at in regards to the footage. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start with waypoint number one. So I can click on that. And what it will do is show me multiple options. So what's the first action that I want? Now for this, I don't normally do this. I would usually be recording anyway when I take flight and then set up the waypoint if I'm on location. But for this, what I'm gonna do is actually select a camera action. So for this, I wanna scroll across and I want to go and do start recording. So at waypoint one, the recording will start. Okay, altitude. Again, I am lucky I know the area. So I'm gonna just crop this up to around 100 meters, coolish. The next section will be global speed. This I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna configure the global speed at the end. So we don't need to worry too much about that, but you can adjust the speed here. So again, if I want to change this, I can click on global speed down the bottom here and it'll give me options. So I can do custom or I can just follow the already set global speed for the drone. And all that is is the meters per second that your drone's going to fly. Now again, try and keep this steady, depending on the type of shot that you're doing. But for now, that's cool. So global speed, follow course. So again, click on the little arrow and it'll give you options for manual, custom, etc. But again, I'm gonna follow course. 
do I want to tilt my gimbal? Now for me, I do. I'm gonna click on the gimbal tilt. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lower that to about 25%. The reason being is I'm following up a river. So that's it. I can do a gimbal roll. I can chuck in a zoom. I can make it hover for a couple of seconds and then move to the next section. Again, up to you. All right, so that's good to go. Oh, one thing we need to do on point four is stop recording. All right, so my waypoint is ready to go. Now, what I would normally do is go on site when I'm on, on any location and I would click on the three dots, the ellipsis, the three dots here. I'm gonna click on the ellipsis. And what this will do is these are my global settings. So here is my global speed. So for me, I want to make this go relatively quickly. So I'm gonna scroll this up to, let's do seven meters. Okay, so seven meters a second. So that's gonna be relatively quick. The other thing I can do from here is return to home. At the end of the flight, it will just return to the return to home location. So again, this will configure when we get on site, tracks the satellites, knows the location to start from. Because I haven't got a point yet, I can get it to hover, etc. I'm gonna leave it to end of flight because when I do start my drone on site, it will reconfigure its home point so it'll know where to return to home to. Loss of signal. And this is really crucial. I did this the other day where I needed to have return to home kick in because it got too windy. So the drone decided to pause through a waypoint mission and had to return to home because it got stuck. So the wind was blowing, it was losing signal. So again, it returned home. So again, return to home, I can do hover, land, continue, whatever. So for us, we wanna to return to home. And where would it start from? Sometimes maybe waypoint one is a takeoff spot only. It may be the only place that you're taking off from, but you don't wanna start your footage from. You can set up point number two to be where it starts from. So waypoint number one could be your starting location where the drone is just up in the air. And then waypoint two is the beginning of the river or the you know, bottom of the mountain, whatever you're filming. So again, this is good to go. You can see down the bottom that at the moment, these icons for each of the waypoint areas are grayed out. That's because I'm not connected to a drone. Once I connect to a drone, I'll be able to have options like go, launch, get the drone in the air and click on and do my waypoint mission. One of the joys of it being saved on this particular RC controller, if I had a Mini 4 Pro, if I had an Air 3S or an Air 3, anything that has waypoint missions attached to it, I could go connect to that particular drone, not just the Mini 5 Pro that I'm configuring it for, and I can use that same waypoint mission for that drone. So I can use multiple drones to do the same flight. So maybe I'm doing a camera test. Maybe I'm showing the differences between the zoom. Another thing that it's really good for is to be able to do something like a time lapse. Maybe you're looking at a construction. Maybe you're showing the changes of season and you want it to flow through the same path, same drone at different times of the year. Being able to save the waypoint mission allows you to do that same exact flight path over and over and over. The other thing that's really important that I need to do is, because I'm at home, I should save this. Now you can do a couple of ways. Let's just go back. A couple of things you could do. I could tap on the waypoint icon, so I can go to the squiggly up sideways S, and that will go, do you want to save? Do you want to exit without saving? And I could do that. But also I have the option here. There is this little paper icon. So this paper icon here, if I click on this icon, with my finger, what it will do is it'll allow me to save this. It'll also allow me to record a name by clicking on the pen icon. So for me, I'm going to do pen icon. Waypoint mission. Oh, I'm going to call it two. I know it's two. <laughs> that is now saved on the RC. All right, we are at the spot to do our waypoint. So the mission that we saved before, I can actually now go and do it. So I'm gonna put my drone out and get this in the air. Home point updated. 
Thank you. So now we're at the location. I'm going to click on the waypoint mission. And you can see that it's open plan waypoint flight. I'm going to click on the paper icon to go to my saved waypoints. And there it is. I'll select that waypoint mission. Go through the ellipsis just to check everything. My go is there. My return to home. Excellent. Let's get it out. And you can see that it's now highlighted green because we are connected to a drone. All right, so let's go. All right, so we're slowly moving out to the location. Phone out. Bit windy so let's go and move a little bit out here it moving to the location just to check our map home point the map location itself and it's moving towards it we're at the point should turn around Adjusted the gimbal down to 25% and the recording has started. All right, so we're down to waypoint one. <laughs> we're moving through slowly. Six minutes and 26 seconds. So down the bottom, you'll see a couple of really important things on the RC. Down the bottom next to the clock icon, you'll see the time. So the whole waypoint mission will take six minutes and 26 seconds. At the moment, we're 27% through it in regards to time. Down the bottom, you'll see the little white bar. The little white bar is the progression bar. That's moving to the complete uh, time frame of the actual waypoint mission. You'll see next to that, that we're on waypoint number one of four, and that this whole waypoint mission was 2,687 meters. So it's quite long, but we'll go moving through. There we go. <laughs> So that progression bar is slowly moving. Now on waypoint number two, it'll slowly move towards looking at the bridge. So a couple of things you can do with the RC controller, which makes things really interesting, easy, and safe for your drone is swiping to the right. If I swipe to the right as my drone flies, you'll see that this automatically goes to the obstacle avoidance sensors. With the obstacle avoidance sensors, so let's move this, you can see the left, the right, we can see underneath the drone, and we can see the front. So if you're ever looking at, to, uh, if you're ever looking to see something around your drone, uh, maybe there's birds flying around, you can see it. You can actually go to the sensors and see your surroundings. So it's really, really good. Click back on the actual thing here to go and see what the camera's seeing. If I go to the three columns down the bottom, also where my sensors are, it'll take me back to my map or my compass or back to the avoidance sensors. So you can scroll through them at any time and see how close we are to waypoint number two. Getting close. Almost there, 100 meters in the air. And let's have a look. Waypoint number two. There's my gimbal roll. <laughs> so my gimbal roll is going to go over the bridge.
Ooh, the gimbal roll was a bit slow. You can see that it's at 99 meters. Ooh, bit of gust of wind there. Okay, let's look from the drone. this so we're in alignment just so we've got some reception to the antenna so yes you can't see me but I'm standing outside waiting for our drone to return which is kind of lucky we would have had to pause that mission with that plane so we're moving back we're 640 meters away we're turning back and we're pretty good with battery, 42%, eight minutes and 45 seconds left on the battery life on the drone itself. So we are doing okay. And we're slowly moving back towards our home point. So that's really good. So it's, it's really simple and easy. Probably shouldn't have put the gimbal roll in there. Maybe we'll do another one. Maybe I'll do one manually and we'll just do a manual, <laughs> a manual waypoint. We can do that in the next thing. We can do that next time. But we're returning to home. The wind sort of picked up as well, so I'm glad it's coming back. 200 meters away. What a day though. Oh my goodness, compared to yesterday. A lot of wind, a lot of things in the air. Debris, <laughs> branches. All right, our drone is returning. 56 meters away, and we should see it soon. Here we go. And there it is. Whoa, okay, you're heading towards the roof of the seating area. I'm gonna get out of the road so it can land. Landing. Oh yeah. You just end real quick. And that was seven meters a second too. So that was going hard. Ooh, look at that. That's a perfect one. Come on, come on. Wait a minute, don't let the wind get you. Oh, beautiful. Excellent. All right. And that is a waypoint. Hello camera. Hello drone. Hello me. <laughs> All right. That was a waypoint flight configured offside or remote for the DJI Mini 5 Pro with the RC controller too. Worked really well, except for that gimbal roll. I'll take that gimbal roll out next time, but thanks for watching. <laughs>